We are going to continue now with the Finnis Dake Bible, which we have been working on for a while. Uh, again, part of the reason is because of the extreme um, value of these large notes that are contained in it. Now, I'm using a different camera this time, as you can see, it's not the usual one. So, and I was hoping when we actually get to the Dake Bible, which is, of course, right here, which I'm using right now for good reasons, is when I get close to the scripture, you could read it. But when I get close to the scripture, you cannot read it. That what I was hoping would happen. But at least I can show you what's going on where I don't have to hold it up in front, actually, of the camera. So what we're doing now is this is actually Psalm 110 which is a messianic psalm. In fact, what Dakes writes right here, there is 110, and that's what he's writing right here is what he's writing. He is saying the uh, 17th messianic psalm, and it goes all about it. And then it says, The Lord, the Lord said unto my Lord, and so on. It goes all the way through it. Now, as soon as it says the Lord the is one thing, and then Lord, the word Lord has a little letter B right beside it. There's a little letter B right where I'm pointing. That little B is at the word Lord. Now, that's a B. Then when you find a B, you go on this side of the page down here, and you look for a B. There's the letter B right there. Now, this is what is so interesting. You can just take that one letter and go all the way through it, and it pretty much tells you all about this whole thing. So what I'm going to do now is give you uh, something about this. Now, this starts with the letter B. It says, The Lord, Hebrew, Jehovah, said unto David, David's Lord, Hebrew, Adonai, sit at my right hand until I make thee thy enemies thy footstool. Verse 1. Some manuscripts read, Jehovah said unto Jehovah. And this, if, uh, Mrs. Ann, this should be the case, as in the original Hebrew for verse 5, and it reads, Jehovah is at thy Jehovah's right hand. But out of the extreme reverence for the name Jehovah, the ancient custodians of the sacred text submitted the name Adonai for Jehovah. 134 times, um, this is what is done in verse 5. The name Jehovah should have been related to all the 134 places. If it had been in verse 5, then it would have been clear that there are two divine persons called Jehovah. Now, there are three such types of persons in the CC, Trinity, and so forth. All of these are God, Adonai, Jehovah, and everything else that God is. See Genesis nineteen twenty-four. We read of Jehovah on earth, who was visible to Abraham as raining fire upon Jehovah in heaven upon Sodom, and so on and so forth. Uh, the same Greek word, Kiosis, is both the Father and the Son, proving that the two lords of Jehovah. Now, what he does next, he's got a C next. Now, what does C mean? If you go up here and you're reading, there's a B, then you go to C. The first one says Lord, there's the B right there. Then if you go to the C right here, that says my Lord. The Lord said to unto my Lord. Now, here's the C, which says my Lord. Now, what's interesting about that whole thing is you go down through here. Here's the beginning of C right there. Now, if you go through this, what is happening here is you are getting these questions answered. For example, uh, it says 14 facts about Messiah. He is the only true God and Lord as Jehovah, the Father, and so on. Then he gives scripture. He is the exalted one at the right hand of the Father. Then he gives tons of scripture. He will sit at the right hand of the Father until the time of the second advent, when he will come to reign 1,000 years uh, to put all enemies under his feet. Verse 1. This does not mean 
then he will sit down under the Father, but all enemies down, but until the time for all enemies to be brought down under uh, has happened. That is really the purpose of the second advent of a thousand years. Then he gives scripture. And then as you go down, it's got four, and he shall rule Zion on earth, and he's got tons of scripture. And he shall rule in the midst of his enemies, put them down. Then he's got tons of other scripture you can look at. Redeemeth Israel will become uh, willing to accept him and obey him. And then you've got all kinds of scripture. Then you go to the next page, all the way to the top. And then you've got, uh, let me see, what do we got? Number six. There was, no, 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 number six, not to the top. You go over here where this note continues. In other words, this note here is what we're doing now on this side, these notes. Then when you go over here, you don't go up to scripture, but you stay in these notes. So it goes on uh, quite a ways. And then it's got here, it's saying something like uh, in these notes, for example, the um, verse should be paraphrased thus. Your people shall be a free people and willing to follow you in the day of your power, arrayed in garments of holiness and as youthful and fresh as the dew drugs drops from the breast of the dawn. And then he goes through that. And then re relation to Melchizedek, he goes all the way through 12. He got 14, you see here, 14 notes regarding just that part of this one psalm with tons and just tons of scripture references all through here. So that is what's uh, absolutely fascinating about this section. Now we can go uh, even further through it to see uh, what he's doing. But that is enough right there to give you some idea of the immensity of the notes involved and also the amount of scripture you can do. Now I was doing that today myself, starting with the scripture. And you just take one of these notes, take just one of them, and you follow each of those scriptures, and it shows you where that one idea it goes all through the Bible. So it, it unites the Bible in many ways. And that's what Dake wants to do. Finnis Dake wants to show that the Bible is a great unity. And he is very good at that. It's one of the, one of his particular uh, partic particularly good things. Now, we'll see how the sound comes out on this, because I don't know if the sound is coming from anywhere except this device right here that you see me holding.